Operation Eagle is clawing away at the city of Birmingham's violent crime rate. Now tonight we've learned the crime crackdown is extended for another 30 days. WVTM 13's John Papke breaks down the operation's positive impact. Birmingham launched its crime fighting blitzkrieg to battle rising violent crime last month. The city was averaging nearly 10 murders a month for 2017. During the 30 days of Operation Eagle, we saw violent crimes went down, robbery cases went down, homicide cases went down, sex crime cases went down, discharging firearms into buildings and cars and, and, and homes went down. Birmingham's total violent crime dropped 21%. Homicides were 38% lower, and the shot spotter system detected 26% less gunfire. The city lowered the numbers by flooding high crime areas with extra officers. Officers. We saw a crowd of individuals outside of a store uh, that, that, that they were not purchasing anything. They were just, just gathering and just really loitering out on the property. So we would engage them, talk to them, find out who they are, and eventually a kind of kind of move away. We did over 1,300 traffic stops. Lieutenant Sean Edwards said Operation Eagle cost the city nearly $200,000 in extra overtime. It costs, you know, you have an extra officers, but, but the reality is when you weigh it all, uh, our citizens in this city, are worth it. Now that the month long crackdown is over, Edwards does not want lawbreakers to get comfortable. I would tell that criminal, listen, uh, stay on your toes uh, because we're, we're not done. We're just getting started. In fact, tonight, the city decided to continue Operation Eagle for another month. Now, arsonists have terrorized Birmingham neighborhoods for the last six to nine months. They're, they've been burning down vacant homes a few times a week, but Edwards credits Operation Eagle for zero arsons in almost three weeks. Sherry?